All right, very first one I have for you tonight is a digital business card. So, so this digital business card is an email signature as well. And the email signatures of the past used to be ones which were images that would sit on in your mail, uh, but they wouldn't do anything. So you'd have links in it, like uh, links to your telephone, uh, you'd have URL links to your website and social media profiles, but you couldn't click on them for, for it to take you through because it was just a static uh, image. So this particular profile, the reason why I like this one here for a signature for your uh, emails is because the links that you create in it are clickable. And it will, so if people click on your uh, website URL, it will take them through to your um, uh, website and also your social media posts, uh, social media platforms as well too. Um, and the other thing about it too is uh, it, it creates what's called a, a digital uh, business card for you, which sits on your phone. So, so there's a QR code that uh, you can generate with your uh, signature there. The QR code can sit in your email signature, or you can use the QR code for uh, people to scan. Uh, when they do scan it with their phone, it opens up your digital business card on their phone. Uh, and you can have in there links to all of your social media platforms, to your website. Uh, you can have blog posts in there. You can have videos in there. Uh, you know, all sorts of things. It's almost like a mini website on you know that uh, comes up on the phone. Um, and people can click to save your contact information, which will save directly into their contacts on their phone. So, so it is a really handy uh, app and it is your digital business card. Uh, it's one that you don't have to carry, carry around a physical card itself, although I still use a physical card because I go to uh, various networking events. It's always helpful to have that. And it is reasonably cheap as well. So in terms of pricing, I think it's only around about $4. Oh, there's a free version, so that's nice and cheap. Or there's a $6 a month version. But that uh, free version is enough, uh, from what I saw of it, it's enough there to um, really get you going, have a professional looking signature on the bottom of your email, clickable links, and having a virtual business card that people can scan and appears on their phone. So that one there is called hihello.com. So these links here, we will drop these into chat. So at the end of the evening, you can save the chat and the links are all clickable in the chat. So you can go and just click on it and uh, explore it uh, at your uh, leisure. If you're not sure where chat is, if you have a look at the toolbar at the bottom of your Zoom screen, it, uh, there is a little speech bubble icon which says chat below. Click on that, that'll uh, bring up uh, chat. And you'll see that there are already people introducing themselves in there. So feel free to introduce yourself in there as well, too. Uh, if you're on a mobile phone, you just click those three little dots on the bottom right, and uh, that will bring up chat for you as well, too. All right, the next app that I have for you is one called Yuki.live. Now, we're in a course where digital courses and programs and products have just really taken off uh, ever since that uh, period of uh, lockdowns. And so uh, now more than ever, there are uh, information on is almost everything that you uh, ever need is all, is all online. And of course, people need to be able to store it somewhere. Uh, and the platforms have been, been getting easier and easier for people to use to create, uh, you know, so courses, programs, trainings, and, and the like. And this particular platform is a uh, newer platform, and it is uh, very simple to use. It's nicely laid out, very simple to use if you're wanting to, uh, you know, put some of your information up on, online. Uh, and you can sell it or make it for free, or you can use something like this for a training manual or systems and procedures for staff in your organization as well. So, so this platform lends itself really well to that type of use as well. Uh, and of course, uh, one of the good things about it is that you can embed your videos in there. So if you're taking screenshot videos on you know, how to do things, you can embed those in here. Uh, you can uh, have photos in there. They do have a community in there. And in fact, this one is very much like a Facebook group. So if you're familiar with Facebook groups and, and those threaded comments I've got in there, very much like that, but it's a little easier to find information in there with the menu that they've got down the uh, left-hand side. So, um, so, you, so in fact, you can use it as a replacement for Facebook groups 
if you're wanting to do something but outside of Facebook or people don't have a Facebook uh, account. The uh, reason why I found this one is that someone has specifically asked me for uh, you know information about this type of thing that would replace using Facebook or not using Facebook. And the reason why they didn't want to use it is that they're in a health-related field uh, and so they needed to uh, contain that information in a way that was a little more secure than what was on uh, Facebook. So so this one here is called Yuki. So Yuki.live. Price-wise, they have, it's very reasonably priced as well too, at $15 a month to uh, start with. Uh, you know, the, the middle plan is for $65, $205 a month. Uh, that's on par with, you know, some of the other courseware uh, programs that are out there. So, uh, but definitely worth um, having a look at and investigating. And it's a, uh, in order to, to use it, it's just got a nice uh, interface when you log in to, to use it. All right, QR codes, they have been on our landscape, it feels like almost forever. It was certainly since the that pandemic period as well too. And they're getting cleverer and cleverer these days. So rather than just the black and white QR codes that uh, you know we're familiar with, these days you can have uh, QR codes that have artwork embedded up in, uh, in it. Uh, they can have your logo in it. Uh, they can be sort of uh, pictures. Uh, and you can generate it for your particular business as well too. So, so the way it works, this one here is qrcode-ai.com. And the way it works in the middle there, you see it, it's asking you to put in a, a link. So it could be a link to your website. It could be an email address, phone number, SMS. So there's a whole range of things. Or if you've got a form that you want people to go to, it could be a Google form or a survey monkey form. It could even be your V card or your business card as well too. So I'm just going to do the simple thing of for the site. So let's uh, pop in a website address. Now, what it will do is it's uh, this front screen will take you through to register. So just register for a free account. And uh, then once you've registered for a free account, uh, then you're able to generate your QR codes. So let me just whip over to QR codes on the link. So I've got QR codes. I've got... My credits for this so this one's four dollars a month so yeah again it's pretty cheap if you do it annually what's that that 40 you know, 50 dollars uh, a year i have created some qr codes in here i don't know whether you'll get to see the images in it oh here's one here this this bottom one i think um so you probably can't see it that well let me just enlarge the screen a bit so you can see it so that's a, a QR code that I created for my website, smashgo.co. And you can see that there is a strange looking panda uh, in the middle of the QR code. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit funky, it might be good for you know your, your flyers, your brochures, your business cards, your banners. Then this one here gives you something a wee bit different to just those standard QR codes. And they do work. So uh, you know the fact that it's got artwork in it doesn't uh, diminish the uh, quality of it working. So that one there is called a code-ai.com. All right. Who here uh, is get, gets a little bit tired of people in groups on, on Facebook tagging uh, with at everyone, which means everybody in that group gets a notification. And so your feed gets filled up with all of these at everyone notifications. If you happen to run a, a group, it's great uh, to have these because it means you get messages out to absolutely everybody that's in your group, uh, except for the people that have blocked them. So that's what I'm going to show you tonight. I found that my feed was just filled with all of these groups there tagging you know, at everyone, uh, which meant that I was missing notifications from people that uh, were important that um, you know, were trying to communicate with me or, or had tagged me on a in a photo at an event or asking a question. So, so I was missing it all. Uh, so um, uh, what, what you can do here is you can disable that at everyone tag so you don't actually get those notifications in your feed, cleans it all up, makes it sort of easy for you to see those notifications from you know friends and people that uh, you want to see it from it's not just filled up with uh, 
people tagging at everyone. So this particular page here, it is quite a long page. It's a blog post which talks about how to do it. Um, and what is it? It's Noi Pig. No, noipgeeks.com. I won't read it all out. We'll just put it into the uh, into the chat. Noipgeeks.com forward slash social media forward slash disable everyone uh, tag Facebook. So th this just goes through a set of instructions about what to do. Uh, now, this is on mobile devices. You can just do it on your mobile device. Uh, so it takes it right through so that you can turn off this part. Whoop, it's an image. This part here, which says at everyone mentions. So if you toggle that off, It'll, you'll stop receiving those uh, mentions and uh, you'll start seeing notifications from uh, people that you do uh, want to see. So a very simple process, but I had lots of requests for how to do this. And uh, this is the place that I go to uh, find out. I thought I'd create a uh, blog post for it, but why reinvent the wheel? Someone else has done all the work. So uh, I'm going to show, show them a bit of love by uh, giving you the link to this. So we'll drop this one into chat as well too. And the last one that I have for you tonight is a book. So I have been profiling uh, various books on uh, this as the last app and tool, uh, pretty much because uh, you know, books are important to uh, get your information and learning. And I'm an avid reader of books, so I'm constantly uh, reading. Uh, and this one here, it's an old book, but it's a very good book on marketing and advertising. It's called the Robert Collier Letter Book. And Robert Collier was around last century. Uh, in the early parts before the internet. Uh, and he was in around the time of, um, you know, writing advertisements for newspapers, uh, sales letters, that type of thing. But the principles on this uh, translate uh, so well into the online environment today. So he's got in here something like uh, 28 odd letters that he's used in his, you know, advertising and sales letters. And these are ones that have made millions and millions of dollars, you know, in that first half of the last uh, century. So uh, it's just one of these timeless books and one that I've read for years and years and years. I think I started with this one back in uh, probably the late 90s, early 2000s. And uh, it was one of the books that really kicked off my whole interest in this uh, marketing area. And, and I took it and applied it to marketing online. Those days that was email. These days it is uh, obviously you know, website, social media, and, and still email marketing as well too. So um, it's, a good, uh, it's a good read. The language is a little bit dated, but it's not too bad. Uh, and uh, you do have to just sort of substitute some of the technology in there for uh, more modern technology, but it all just works uh, so well. And it really is about the psychology of, of writing and what works. So super simple read, really good read. And uh, if you're uh, wanting to get some more traction in terms of your marketing and your copy, this is a fantastic uh, book to read. So I've got the link up there. It's on the copyalchemist.com, but we'll, uh, again, it's a long link and uh, we've uh, dropped that into chat for you as well too. Uh, it's a book that's out of print uh, now. So this is a PDF version. Version. It's also out of copyright as, as well too. So it's out of print, out of copyright, which means that you are free to distribute it as well too. Uh, free to use it and distribute it. So that there is the Robert Collier letter book. And that brings us to the end of our uh, cool online tool segment. So drop into chat, tell us what your favorite one was. All of those uh, links for them are in chat now. They're at the, uh, the last um, post that's in the uh, chat at the moment. Uh, if you feel like saving the chat, it's the three little dots on the top right of chat. Uh, so you can save it now so you remember. You can also save it at the end of the evening and it will just continue saving over the uh, top of that uh, uh, particular one. But yeah, just drop in chat. Tell us what your favorite app and tool is, just to give me a sense as to which one piqued your interest. Uh, and of course, these apps and tools, they'll be available on... Um, the uh, business owner smashing online Facebook group. They'll be in there so uh, during the week. If you're not a member of that, uh, now's a good time to go and join that there. That is uh, on Facebook. Just search for business owner smashing online. You have to hit the join button and uh, we'll accept you uh, in there. And of course, you'll find all the other previous apps and tools uh, in there as well too. Uh, and uh, they'll also be across uh, you know, various social media platforms as well. Uh, but obviously, if you save it here, then you've got it in a place that you can Go and uh, click through and have a look at at your leisure later tonight or uh, possibly tomorrow. So what have we got there? We've got, yes, another book to add to your collection. 
One, one good thing about these books, though, when you do add it to your collection, is to read them. <laughs> Funny story is, is that I had a publishing business years ago when I first came to Australia, and people would buy the uh, the information we were selling, and it would, it would, it would cost them between you know, 200, uh, two thousand to five thousand dollars. So that was the bundles that we were selling. People would buy them, they would put them on their bookshelves in their office, and they would never read them. And uh, but yet they'd invested all this money. Um, sometimes we'd repackage up the content and and we might put two together or take bits out of one and bits out of another, repackage it and sell it as a new package. Those very same people would go and buy it again and uh, would put it up on their bookshelves and still never read it. So these things only work if you read it and you apply the information as well too. Sounds like a And of course, if you've got any... It is, isn't it? Yes, it worked pretty well. <laughs> If you've got any apps and tools that you uh, that you like or you think would be worth profiling on this show, uh, let me know. Shoot me a message and let me know. Or if you've got a book there that you think uh, would be worthwhile reading, fire it through to me as well too. Uh, I'm always looking for uh, good books to read. And uh, you know, if we profile it on the show, again, happy to uh, credit you with the uh, information or the uh, source of it as well too. All right. So what do we got? We've got lots of hi, hello, hello. Looks like the hi, hello is the... Uh, is our winner tonight because it's a, a the free version when you're starting a business. Yes, yeah, well, there we go. So one there has grabbed the interest and we've got us a reader of the book as well too. Fabulous. All right. Well, of course, these uh, online tools and apps, the reason why we bring these through to you is so that hopefully they help you in business, uh, give you an opportunity to explore what is uh, out there. Uh, and... And of course, if you like what you've seen tonight and these cool, cool uh, apps and tools uh, and you'd like some help implementing them in your business or perhaps some uh, other apps and tools uh, also, then uh, we do offer a paid service to help you uh, to do that as well. So if that's something you're looking for, just uh, reach out and I'm uh, happy to have a discussion about that there. Otherwise, go and play and enjoy. <laughs>